I'm a cult leader. It's called the First Church of David Bowie. No way, really? Yeah. How many members do you have? I don't know, just like four or five at this point. Oh. My name is Carlos Dillard. I'm Rain. My name is Ellen Aquario. What drugs have you done? Oh my god. Like, not much. I'm like a drug version. I've done Molly. Ecstasy. Weed. Yeah, I smoked the fuck out of weed. I smoked before I came here. Shrooms, LSD. I can't remember what it's called, but they told me it was like a horse tranquilizer or something. <laughs> <laughs> my mother was a drug dealer in my house when I was a kid, which ended me into foster care. So I grew up around drug dealers and drug addicts pretty much the majority of my childhood. So today you are going to guess which drugs these individuals do. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, ha! <laughs> okay. All right, come on down. I'm Mr. Henry. Henry. Hey, we're Henry Carlos. Nice to meet you. Ugh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what does your drug do for you? Pleasure. Do you like having fun when you have sex? <laughs> <laughs> My drug I like to use okay. has a lot to do with sex. Oh! I'm kind of wondering <laughs> if you've used what I use. Oh. But I'm stereotyping you. Because I'm black or gay, which one? Gay. You're all about that Viagra. Ecstasy. What? Oh! Poppers! <laughs> right. What the hell is this? Poppers. Poppers. It's always right. in a liquid form. Mm-hmm. And you just go doot doot and no, then you don't drink oh. it. No, no, you inhale it. What no. happens to you if you do? You can die. That's why it says cheap out of reach of children. <laughs> right. I mean, how does that affect you? It makes it easier to have sex well, anal sex. Like what like, it relaxes things. It relaxes okay. your muscles. I love poppers. I don't I know why they are illegal. They're not. Oh, they're not? Mm, no. Well why do you why do you have to go to like the shadiest places to buy them? Like one of those glory hole places and it's kinda like really gross. You buy your poppers, stick your dick in a hole. <laughs> Hey. Hi, what's your name? Mimi. Mimi. Oh, you have X's on your face. That's hella creative. Like, <laughs> bitch, come on. I wouldn't be surprised if you like huff spray paint or some crazy <laughs> ass shit. But yeah, you're good. You're fun to look at. What would you say are your hobbies during the weekend? I go to drag shows. Mm -hmm. I, I go to parties. I, so I, you're a partier. It sounds oh, like you're very yeah. active. I, I love to, yeah. I'm, okay. The nightlife is uh, for me. The nightlife, you want to feel good? I'd say the main two would be cocaine and ecstasy. I would think DMT. Why is that? DMT is literally used to open your brain, be creative. My favorite drug is uh, acid. Why? It's a way of getting out of my head a little bit and thinking about uh, my surroundings and like life differently. Okay, I can see that. Because when you're on acid, it's like... Yeah, tell me about what it's like. I've never done acid well, before. Well, I only do it like every few months. I'm not like a weekly acid user. One time I threw up at the zoo on acid. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Like a normal person. <laughs> so, when did you first do drugs? Man, uh, I was in seventh grade. Seventh grade. I'm gonna lock my kids up seventh grade. They'll probably just end up doing more drugs. Probably. Yeah, That's okay, probably never mind. I uh, just had a rough childhood and grew up really poor. Meh. I like your boots. He has Doc Martens on, which are very expensive. He probably likes like a higher class of drug. Um, Cause <laughs> I he's, guess. Thanks. you know, yeah, he's like real put together maybe. You seem super chill. So I'd say worse would be cocaine. He does coke. Tony, tell me what your drug. Um, so I used to be addicted to painkillers. Oh. Why don't you do it anymore? Uh, it just ruined my career. Just, what was your career? I was in the army for six years. See, that'll do it. Are opiates addicting? Yeah. Like, uh, chemically addicting? Yeah. Okay, I see. Shit. I mean, even just talking about it makes my mouth water. Damn. Okay. What drug do you do? Let me guess. Like, looks will tell me anything. Common or not common? Extremely common. Is it social or is it like a personal thing? It's social in like getting it, but once then you, you go get home it, you like go home and lock the door. Uh. What's the worst reaction that you've ever gotten from it? They cut it with something really weird and my whole arm got these like welts and red spots all over it. I'm gonna say heroin. Are you addicted? I was. Oh, you were. Alcohol. I was a heroin addict. Whoa. Oh, man. Was there a spoon involved? Oh, yeah. That's how you cook the dope so you can shoot it into your arm. 
My dad found me unresponsive in my room a couple times, and he revived me, and um, oh my gosh. after that, I just I told him that I couldn't live anymore. And I decided to go to treatment one more time. I'd been about 13 times. Oh my God, <laughs> And um, I got clean, and then a year later, I loved my life. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy that you're past that. Yeah, me too. I feel like you need a hug. I know I need a hug. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. What's your frequency of usage? Once a week. You just go on a party once a week. Just woo, let it out and it's then let not, it go. Not a party. What would you call it? A ceremony. I'm a cult leader. It's called the First Church of David Bowie. No way, really? Yeah. How many members do you have? I don't know. Just like four or five at this point. Oh. When you do drugs, what are you what are you chasing? What kind of feeling are you looking for? Uh, it's a, a, a religious experience. Oh, he might be like a like a kombucha tea guy. <laughs> I'm sure it's not kombucha, but like are I think, are you thinking of ayahuasca? <laughs> yes. <yeah. laughs> DMT. Mushrooms. Is it LSD? I think that's what it is. It is not LSD. I need to do more I can tell her? Yeah. Uh, I, use, I use psilocybin mushrooms, magic mushrooms. Oh! I got it right! Can you describe what it feels like? It's kind of like stepping into an open volcano and just getting like blasted up. Like your whole body could be shaking. Okay, I'm vibing with that. And I get these visions of black iron fortresses, sheets of flame, devils dancing and everything because I am channeling that energy. Yeah, you're feeling it. You don't ever get sober and go, that was weird. No, I basically intense. spent the last year wondering if I was having a psychotic breakdown, but I've determined that I probably am not, so. Hello. Hello, Kate. Kate. Yes, how's it going? It's going, Kate, <laughs> shit. Okay, uh, let's get this rolling. When's the last time you did it? Um, this morning. And what's your frequency at this point? All day. She looks hella normal. I think it's gonna be an internal drug. Internal how? like a pill. Oh. Do you do Xanax? Are you the Xanax one? I had a lot of friends in high school who did Xanax. It was like this. What do you like to do on the weekends? Party and I work a lot. Is it a problem for you? Well, I think anything can be a problem. Oh. <laughs> Alcohol. Coke. Cocaine. Did, did, did I get it right? I do do cocaine. Okay. But uh, I'm actually here for weed. Oh, shit, no way! <laughs> what are all the drugs that oh you've my God. done, would you say? Yeah, list them all. Um, weed, coke, accidentally did meth, that was awful. Accidentally did meth? Accidentally, um, so crack, was spiked. Shit. mescaline, ayahuasca, ketamine, DMT, but mostly cocaine, mushrooms, and weed. So, you don't think it's a problem? I think that sometimes the way that I do drugs is a problem. I don't think I How have do you a do the drugs? I do everything excessively. Why? Uh, to deal with a lot of scars and emotional trauma that I can't really seem to get through. After listening to everybody's stories today, it's like been really, really beneficial to kind of see how drugs are used, how they're perceived, and... I can really feel yeah, your like, emotion. I, I, I'm emotional. I know, she, I can like, I can <laughs> feel it. So do you just wish you did a little bit less? That's it? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I wish I had more control. Ha. Huh. You look like you're <laughs> someone in control, but... Look good, feel good, you know? I know, but doesn't that wear you down? Absolutely. Then what are you left with? <laughs> um. <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> want to happily smoke weed with me, I would love to. Actually, okay. that sounds like, like a really nice okay. fucking day. <laughs> it was so nice meeting you. Too. Of Thank course. Thank you so much for sharing that of with course. me. I'm much like her. I think I'm, I just do a lot of weed and I use drugs to kind of regulate my emotions. And sometimes it's towards the negative and you can use it towards the positive. Are you walking away with a desire to try some drugs? Or? Um, no. Drugs seem to be more of an escape for everybody. That seems to be the common thing that I see. There's some like stereotypes with drugs. Like with heroin, you just imagine like like losers in a way. When that's not really the case. Like anybody can be addicted to any of these drugs. I'm gonna go smoke a blunt and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
Yeah. <laughs>